So now that we've done a lot of vector math, let's use that vector math to get our ship to bounce off this arbitrary wall. If the ship comes in at a at an angle there, then I would expect it to come out at roughly that angle. And if the ship comes in at a steep angle, then I would expect the ship to bounce off at a steep angle. So that's the idea, and I want to use our dot products and our normalized vectors to make that happen. If you recall from previous videos, we created a vector. We did it for each wall. I'm just going to stick to this wall, though, for demonstration purposes. We created a vector that stretched. Let's go a little thicker. Stretched from here to here, and all we did was subtract these two locations or these two vectors. That gives us this vector, and then we used perp or perp counterclockwise uh, to get a normal vector, a vector that is perpendicular to our wall here. But in general, normal vectors are also normalized, and for good reason. We'll see that in a minute. Remember that normal means perpendicular, whereas normalized means length one, and we we know how to create a normalized vector now. But let, let me let's uh, let's get rid of all this and let's just start from the bare bones and think about the ship approaching this wall. If the ship, if the ship, let's say the ship came in at this velocity, I would expect it to come off at that velocity. Well, how are we, how are we going to make that happen? If you recall when we had the ship bounce off the top of the window or the sides of the window, let's just do the sides of the window. Let's say the ship came in at this velocity to the wall. Well, we would expect it to bounce off at that velocity. That would be our resulting velocity. And the, the way we obtained that actually wasn't that hard. We have a x component of this velocity vector, and we have a y component of that velocity vector. And all we did was negate the x component of the velocity vector. And when we did that, this x component flipped around. It's the same as scaling by a negative 1. It flips around, but the y remained the same. And that gave us our new velocity vector. Well, that's the exact same thing we want to do over here, except we can't just flip the x component. What we have to do is flip the portion of our velocity vector that is in the direction of the normal. So I'm going to draw our wall normal right here. I know I've been drawing it over here because that's the perp CW, but I can move it over here. Moving a vector does not change its magnitude nor its direction, and so we can draw vectors pretty much wherever we want to. We need to get the portion of our velocity vector that is in the direction of the wall normal. We need to negate that portion or that part of our velocity vector. So, so, so how do I get the portion of the velocity vector that is in the direction of the normal vector? Well, the dot product. I need to project our velocity vector onto the normal vector. So if I project this vector onto that vector, if you can remember the light rays coming in like so, except I'm not going to leave those on there, but the light rays coming in on so, the shadow of our green velocity vector onto the red normalized normal normalized meaning length one normal meaning perpendicular to the wall the shadow uh, will be this vector right there if you can imagine the shadow coming down like so I'm trying to draw a shadow here shadow okay what movie is that from go think about it anyway the shadow of this vector the, the portion of the velocity vector that is in the direction of the the normal vectors is this. So we have to do a dot product. Now you may think, Jamie, these this is not how you were drawing vectors before. Jamie, you were drawing the vec the tails of the vectors together, not necessarily the one vector pointing at the tail of the other. Well, let me just just for good measure, let me I'm gonna move this green vector down here. I'm just gonna draw it down here for some screen real estate. Let's say that our velocity vector is like so and our wall normal is like so. We'll draw it the same way, roughly, as I have it drawn here. Well, let me move this green velocity vector so its tail touches the tail of the red normal vector. So all I did was pick this vector up and moved it over here. And then if I do the projection effect, let's actually erase this now. I think we're done with that. I've moved it. If I actually do the projection of the green vector onto the red vector, well, 
Remember, we saw a negative projection. I had that little that 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 tool. In fact, let me bring the tool back up just for your refresher. Okay, here is the the tool. Let me just clear all that off the screen for a minute. But remember, I'm projecting this vector onto that vector. Well, if if this vector is negative relative to this other vector, the projection still works. So let me take this down. Negative, negative. Watch that red projection vector. I'm getting more and more negative. And hey, we're still projecting down. Even though the second vector is not pointing in the same direction as the projection of this vector onto that vector, it, it's still the same idea. It's still it's still projecting. It doesn't matter if it's positive, negative, positive, negative. So same idea. Same idea. I think we're done with that. Same idea with this green vector onto the red vector. The projected portion is like so. Okay, that's the projection of the green velocity vector onto the red vector. And then we also have the rejection I could draw right here, but I'm not stressed about that for this example. What I'm worried about is this, the projection. Well, look, this projection is the same as that. All right, so even though I've drawn this tail to tip, you know, tail to tip kind of thing, uh, it doesn't matter. The projection still works out the same. It's still same length. If I could draw perfectly, you would see that it's it's actually identical. So hopefully that proves to you that we're okay that way. All right. So now that I have this white projection of the velocity onto the normal, all I need to do to negate or flip the velocity around to this direction, if I take this green vector, and let's say I negate this, I'm just going to I'm going to negate this this projection here. So negate it, meaning flipping, flip it around, scale it by a negative 1. Okay, if I take the green vector and I add this negated projection, that will give me a result like so. Let me, sorry, let me thicken that up. Let's thicken that up. Thicken, ooh, that's probably too thick. <laughs> probably too thick, but here we go. That'll give me this velocity vector. So if you're in a first person shooter and you hit a wall and you want to slide the player against the wall, well notice our new velocity basically forces them to slide against the wall there where the velocity vector is parallel to our wall here. That's exactly how they do it. They just they take out the portion of your velocity that's going into the wall and push you back out kind of thing. Well that's not the correct velocity vector. We want the velocity vector to come out like this. All right, we don't want it to go parallel with the wall. We want it to go to bounce essentially. So what we have to do is add this white vector, our projected, our negative projected vector. We need to add it again, okay, roughly draw that out like that, to our velocity vector. When I add it again, go a little thinner here, then our new velocity will be like this which is roughly as far as, this, well, it's exactly, but my drawings aren't perfect. But that's exactly the same velocity vector we want coming out. You see how these two vectors, this one and our goal vector are parallel here. That's the idea. So we have to add, we have to add two of the white projected vectors. So, whew, hopefully that, that didn't lose you. But it's the same thing we're doing here, except we don't have a perfect x, y, and we're just taking the portion of our, velocity vector. So in the next video, we're actually going to code this up and make our ship bounce off the wall like so.